Doyle shoots and scores! Colin Doyle gets the rock on the board in the first minute. Saturday night in Rochester, the Toronto Rock looking for their first win ever in the regular season at the Blue Cross Arena. And things don't start well as top pick. Cody Jamison fires from outside, beats Bob Watson. It's 1-0 Rochester. But the top rookie scorer from a year ago, Garrett Billings, answers right away for the Rock. And that ties things up at 1. Some great east-west ball movement here. Colin Doyle will get it back and he's got all kinds of time and space and he just rips this one to make it 2-1. Then Billings, he'll draw a soft double here and then he'll just shuffle it back to Blaine Manning and he as well has all kinds of room to shoot and he makes good beating Matt Vince in the Rochester cage and it's 3-1. to one. But Rochester will get one back here as you'll watch Mike Kersey slips to the carpet then he just kind of slips into the middle and he beats Bob Watson down low. That made the score three to two. The Rock, though, keeping the ball hot here. Some great ball movement gets it down to Blaine Manning on the crease, and he beats Matt Vince to make it 4-2. And then this next goal, the only way I can explain it is that Casey Beerns must have reached into the Allura Mohawks ball bag, grabbed a greaser, brought it to Rochester, and he slips this one just inside the post, beating Matt Vince, and it's 5-2. Still in the first quarter, the Rock, they are burying the ball here, and this time Colin Doyle, he buries it down low with the backhand and shovel shot, and it's 6-2 Toronto after one. On to the second quarter, and the first shot of the second quarter comes 13 seconds in. Garrett Billings, last guy on the floor, but the first guy to put the ball in the net in the second quarter to make it 7-2. Sean Williams will get one back for Rochester, and he kind of got the crowd back into it a little bit here too. Down 7-3, and then Cody Jamison with the beautiful fake and the nice pass down to the crease to hit Jared Davis streaking the goal to make it 7-4. But as the Rock did all night long, they got timely responses, and this time it's from Stephen LeBlanc to make it 8-4. Before the end of the first half, though, Rochester again would close the gap as it's Sean Williams feeding it across the floor to Craig Point, and he buries this one over the shoulder of Bob Watson to make it 8-5 at the half. But Bob Watson, 23 saves shy of 6,000. He gets 6,000 and 6,001 to open up the second half. Then Aaron Paskus will pick up the ball here, and he will just shovel it off to Colin Doyle, but then Paskus will go straight to the goal untouched, and he will beat Matt Vince in the Rochester cage once again to make it 9-5. And before the third quarter was done, Paskus slips into the middle, gets away from his check, and buries it underneath the Vince. 10-5 after three. Watson keeps the opposition off the board in the third quarter for the second week in a row. And then it's Stefan LeBlanc gets the first goal of the fourth quarter as the Rock continue to just get goals when they needed them. Up 11-5 at this point. Walters, Evans, Jamison, he'll cut to the net and he'll cut the deficit back to five goals as it's 11 to six. But again, Stefan LeBlanc comes up with another big goal and this one pretty much the dagger with less than five minutes to go makes it 12-6. Rochester scored three goals in the final four and a half minutes to make this one a little closer on the scoreboard than it may have been on the floor. The Toronto Rock improved to 2-0 with the 12-9 victory over the Nighthawks. The Rock at home Friday night, 7.30 against the Boston Blazers. Doyle shoots and scores! Colin Doyle gets the Rock on the board in the first minute.